Hey learners, I am your teacher Dr. Anam and welcome to Ahmed Coaching. Today we will study about reproduction in bacteria. Reproduction is actually a biological process by which new individual organisms, they are produced from their parent or parent. So if the parent cell is giving rise to new cells, the new cells or offsprings, it means that the process is known as reproduction. Bacteria, they reproduce either asexually or sexually. When we talk about the asexual reproduction in bacteria, it means that only one bacterial cell is divided into two bacterial cells by the binary fusion. For the asexual reproduction, the bacteria is going to utilize or going to use the binary fusion process. Now, what is binary fusion? In the binary fusion, the cell replicates its DNA. We have this bacterial cell and in the bacterial cell we have this nucleic acid or DNA. This DNA is going to be divided into two DNA. The cytoplasmic membrane it is going to elongate separating the DNA molecules. Here you can see the size is small but here the size increases and these two DNA they are going to move towards the opposite poles like this and then the cross wall forms membrane invaginates. The membrane here is going to move inward or imaginates and then cross wall forms completely and in this way the membrane and cell wall they both are formed and by dividing these two cells we are going to have two daughter cells which have their own dna so this is the process of binary fusion binary mean two fusion means split it means that one cell is split into two cells two daughter cells then comes the sexual reproduction in the sexual reproduction donor bacteria cell exchange its genetic material with the recipient bacterial cells by the process of conjugation so it means donor cell, bacterial cell means that they are going to give and recipient bacterial cell mean that they are going to receive the genetic material for this purpose sex pili they are involved and this process or the conjugation is going to result in the new genetic combinations which are going to help in the survival of the bacteria under a variety of conditions here we can see here we have one bacterial cell and this is the another bacterial cell this cell is donor bacteria and this one is a recipient bacteria here you can see this part is empty while here we have this plasmid or genetic material what will happen that this pillars or the sex pili they are going to attached with the recipient cell after that this plasmid which is a double stranded structure is going to separate it and one strand is going to move from the donor bacteria to the recipient bacteria and after that this sex pili they are going to separate from each other and this single stranded plasmid or single stranded genetic material is going to be converted into double stranded hair now here you can see here first the dna uh, genetic material was present and here the genetic material was absent after the process of conjugation the both donor cell as well as the recipient cell they both have their own genetic material so this is the process of conjugation so that was all about the reproduction in bacteria if you have any question related to that you can ask me in the comment section i will see you in the next video